So when we think about artificial intelligence, AI, um, I think what you're going to see is it really integrated into the applications itself. You hear a lot of talk about AI right now as a solution uh, in and of itself, but when you start integrating it into customer solutions, HR solutions, you can get some things done by the computer that frankly can't be done uh, by humans. So this is very exciting. That sounds like artificial intelligence will just be another giveaway trying to entice business to do deals and take contracts with you. Is that the way to perceive it? It's just going to well, be Well, I wasn't offering. really on trying to get to the commercials of a contract. <laughs> but but uh, talking about the capabilities now, when you think about the opportunities to recruit talent, the opportunities to better service customers, I can go through you know tens and tens of these examples. The computer gets smarter and smarter and can do many jobs that frankly people just can't do and certainly do as quickly. And so the opportunity, and many, I'll give you one simple example. If you get into um, some of the uh, communications businesses, when a customer terminates their service because of whatever circumstance, the phone call between the customer and the company may last only two or three minutes. The opportunity for that person taking the call from the customer to know everything possible about that customer um, is very, very limited. AI integrated into those applications can completely change that service experience. And so you're going to see examples of AI integrated into the capabilities or expand the capabilities of the applications. What does it mean for the competitive landscape? Because you've got big ambitions to try and tackle the likes of Amazon, one of the earlier movers in the cloud, but everybody's going after AI. So how do you use AI to catch up to competitors? Well, I actually, again, think of AI as a, as a great feature on your existing applications as opposed to a solution. I used to run an analytics business many years ago, and we spent a lot of time extracting data from applications to bring it and mart it or warehouse it so it could be analyzed and you could get better answers to, to better questions. This will be very different in this generation of technology where the capability is now brought to the data. The AI will be, that capability will be integrated into the applications of the data itself. So that will, by definition, uh, enhance all of our intellectual property. What you're describing is just, it sounds like another upgrade to the existing software, slightly more intelligent. Very different from what Stephen Hawking was saying last night about artificial intelligence possibly being the worst development for civilization, almost effectively a humanity killer. Do you have any concerns that AI unleashed well, could wreck? Listen, I'm, I'm much more focused on the on the, the benefits that we can bring with with artificial intelligence. The the things we can do from from a social perspective in terms of what we can do medically, what we can do. I mentioned the example from a customer service perspective. What we can do in terms of the yields of crop. I mean, I can come up with tens and tens of examples of positive things that come with with understanding data and information, the ability to apply AI to those to those applications. So. Uh, listen, we can all come up with, it's sort of like talking about security, I can come up with lots of, uh, of different issues, but our job is to apply those technologies in a way that benefit people and benefit customers, and that's what we're focused on. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.